Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a blockchain and I'm going to create a crypto coin according to the definition of blockchain I discussed in my last video. So if you haven't seen my last video, I will highly recommend you to go and watch it so that you can understand this video better. Hey everyone, this is Kamran and I'm a full stack blockchain developer. And in this series of videos, I'm going to teach you how you can become a blockchain developer by building blockchains and how you can develop decentralized applications on different blockchain. As I am a JavaScript developer, I'm going to create a blockchain in JavaScript language. Let's get started. So first I'm going to create a folder and this folder I'm going to use as a blockchain project. Let me open this folder via terminal. Now from terminal, I'm going to open this folder in the VS code so that we can start coding inside this folder. As you can see, this folder is empty. So before getting started with the project, let's talk about the dependencies of this project. As we have to build this blockchain in JavaScript, we have to have some runtime environment for JavaScript. So for that, we have to install the Node.js in our machine. I already have installed Node.js on my machine and you can do the same by following some videos available on YouTube. Now, if you are ready with your Node.js setup, all you have to do is to start a project over here. So let's create a file inside this and name it as blockchain.js. Now this file will be the entry point for our project. So by the definition, blockchain is a series of blocks which are connected to each other in a chain. Now let's discuss how our project will look like. We'll be creating two classes. One will be class block, which contains our actual data and other class will be blockchain, which will keep these blocks together. Basically in blockchain block stores the data in a hash form. Here hash is simply conversion of data into a some fixed length cryptic string. Now each block contains hash of its own data and also the hash of its previous block so that no block can change its data without informing the other blocks. Now let's create a class block. Now, as discussed, we have to pass some data inside this block class. So first will be the ID, which will be the incremental numbers assigned to blocks of the blockchain. The second part parameter will be timestamp, which will be the time at which this block is created. Third will be the actual data and the last will be the hash of the last block. So that we will call as last block hash. Now we will store these data into local variables. We have these data of the block. Let's create a hash for this block. So this will we will store in a hash and uh, that will be null by default. And we will create a method to create a hash, right? So inside this method, what we are going to do, we are going to use a crypto package of Node.js, which is used to create a hash. So we are simply going to create a hash out of these data provided and we are going to return it from this method. Let's first import this crypto package. So to do that, we are going to write crypto equals to require and we are going to require it from the crypto package. Now let's use this crypto to generate our hash. So we are going to return a crypto and to create the hash, we are going to use create HMAC method. So in this method, we have to pass two arguments. First will be what kind of hash we want to generate. That will be SHA256. And we have to pass a secret key just to make this hash even stronger. So this secret we have to define. So let me correct the spelling of secret. So let's define this secret string as well. So I'm going to add this as a code with Kamran. Now I'm going to pass this secret inside this. Oh, I already did that. Now update this uh, hash with our data. So we are going to create this uh, string which we have to pass inside this using all the data we have which we have. So first will be this dot ID and plus we will add the timestamp with this and then we are going to add the actual data as we will be passing this data as in form of json or array we have to json stringify this so let's do that and at the end we have to also add this last block hash 
and at the end we have to tell this method to give the output in the form of hex now method is ready just we have to pass this method into to this variable now our block class looks fine and in order to create any number of blocks we can simply just keep calling this class let's move to our next class which is blockchain so class blockchain now in blockchain constructor we just have to instantiate an array this array will contain all the blocks of the blockchain so we can name it as a chain and we can instantiate is an empty so now here we have an important thing to note every blockchain start with a single block which is known as genesis block so we are going to create a genesis block so let's create a method for that genesis block and in this method we are going to return a normal block with a basic data so return a block and inside this block we have to pass the data the id will be zero as this is the start of this chain and for timestamp we are going to pass the current timestamp which will be date now and for the genesis block the data will be an empty string or you can pass empty object on an empty array and we also have to pass the last block hash which is in this case can be an empty string as this method is ready to be used let's add this genesis block into our blockchain now let's try to have a look like how exactly our blockchain look like for that we are going to instantiate our blockchain class so i'm going to you create a new coin kwk coin and use this blockchain class and i'm going to simply print this coin let's try to run this script and see our blockchain so from the terminal you can simply run node blockchain.js and this will return your blockchain so basically you can he see here we only have our genesis block so this block contains an id zero timestamp and data is empty and we have this hash now we have this genesis block inside our blockchain and we have to create a method to add new blocks into inside this blockchain so let's create that and this method we are going to name as add block We, in order to add a new block into our blockchain we should have a hash of the last block so we are going to create a method which will return the last block hash so get last block hash and this method will return the hash of the last block so how we are going to know the last block this will be this dot chain and the last element in this chain which will be chain dot length minus one and we have to get the hash of that block so we we just have to simply return this now when we are going to add a new block we have to add the hash of the last block inside that block so block will be passed to this function this blocks last block hash will be this dot get last block hash once we add this last block hash to the block we have to calculate its own hash as well so hash will be block dot create hash and then we simply push this block to the blockchain so that will be chain dot push and that will be block now we can simply add a block to this blockchain using this method in this kwk coin i'm simply going to add a block an add block and inside this i'm going to pass a block class so new block and here we have to pass the data for the block so id will be one and timestamp as usual will be date now which is the current date and then we have to pass the data so for now what i'm going to add as a balance so this will simply say that my balance is 100 now let's see the output on the console again i'm going to run the same script so now you can see that another block is added to this blockchain and what you have to notice over here is the last block hash of the first will always be empty empty or you can add anything over here it doesn't matter and from this second block 
द लास्ट हैश ब्लॉक विल ऑलवेज बी सेम एज द हैश ऑफ द इट्स प्रीवियस ब्लॉक सो हियर यू कैन सी बी नाइन ए फाइव बी सी इट इज सेम एज द लास्ट ब्लॉक ऑफ दिस करेंट ब्लॉक एंड इन दिस मैनर यू कैन एड एज मेनी एज ब्लॉक यू वॉन्ट टू स्टोर इन द ब्लॉक चेन एंड दिस इज हाउ अ चेन इज जनरेटेड बिटवीन ब्लॉक्स and these all blocks are kept connected now i hope you get the idea how you can create blockchain and inside that you can how you can add multiple blocks in the next video we are going to see what is the benefit of blockchain how the data on the blockchains are secured till then keep practicing and create your own blockchain and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also share my videos to those who want to become a blockchain developer Happy coding everyone see you in the next video